Today we are going to go over Pipe Patch 1. It is our newest product from Source 1 Environmental. It is a point repair system and today we are going to go over an installation. The first thing you're going to do when you get your kit is to make sure that everything that's supposed to be there is there. So we have instructions for every kit. It'll have a kit contents, which is everything that's supposed to be in the kit. And then there's an equipment checklist, which is everything else you need to provide. So get everything out of the kit, make sure that everything is there. You're gonna get a work surface in your kit, which is gonna be able to put on the table that you're working on. There's gonna be protective sleeves, which will go on the packer when it goes in the pipe to do your repair and your dry run. You'll have your spatula, spread your material. You'll have gloves, green ties. There'll be an entire roll of tape. There'll be the resin that you need to do the repair in the kit. And then our fiberglass, which is gonna be a little bit different than our normal kits. Uh, this is actually a tubed fiberglass, so there'll be no folding of this material. Um, it's got a plastic coating on the inside. You'll have your regulator, which you will need to assemble. Comes unassembled. So we'll, we'll take care of that here shortly. And then our vacuum generator, which we're gonna use to actually pull the air out of it. Uh, once the repair is cured, there will be pole cable or rope and you're also going to get 50 foot of push hose and a pre-assembled packer. The next thing we'll need to do is actually assemble our regulator uh, by just putting the gauge into the fitting and threading it on. Simple as that. The next thing we'll do is make sure that everything on our equipment checklist is here on site with us. So wire cutters, tape measure, airline, our sewer camera, and then our air compressor. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is inspect our pipe. So we wanna make sure that there's no, uh, no sharp edges. If there are, we're gonna clean those out, get rid of those. No standing debris in the, in the pipe. A small amount of water is fine. And then while we're doing that, we wanna confirm that the camera head is sitting right at our point of repair and then take the tape that comes in the kit and we're actually gonna make a mark right on our cable. Once we've done that, We'll be able to transfer that measurement. The next thing we we'll want to do is make sure that the pipe that we're repairing is, has been cleaned. Um, you have televised it to confirm that it's clean, so free of debris, uh, roots, um, checking to see if there's any offsets or turns in the pipe. We want to make sure that we can get our repair to the spot in the line. So we'll actually take our camera. Put it in the pipe. Once we've verified that we're at the spot we want to repair, grab the tape that comes in the kit and we'll tape right at our access. So the reason that that's really important and make sure that the tape is on there extremely well is that we don't want to then go in with our dry run after we've transferred and not hit our spot of repair. So we want to make sure that this is taped really well, and that it's exactly at the edge of your access point. Next, we're gonna talk about preparing our packer. First thing is you're gonna notice you have two protective sleeves in your kit. One is gonna be for our dry run, and then one is gonna be for our live run. So.
Try and just get it started. Don't want to force it and get it all twisted up. Just going to make sure that it lays flat. There's pre-creased edges on these. You want to make sure that they're lined up on each side. And then what we're going to do is take our tape. Just kind of bunch up the edge here, just behind our guide ball, and tape. We want to make sure we tape this relatively well. We are not going to tape the other end so that it will invert on itself once it's finished curing. So we want to make sure that this stays attached. So just like so. Make sure it all stays flat, just like it is. Next thing we're gonna do is get our pull cord attached. Again, you don't wanna to attach to the plastic. You wanna make sure you attach directly to the packer, right in front of the two fittings that are on here. You don't want to attach on the back side because then you're pulling against the fitting. Then take a little bit of tape. Make sure that that pull rope doesn't move on you. And that's going to be attached. And then pull your plastic back down. And then the next step will be to put our ties in. So, easiest way is to get a couple started. Take it, almost just fold it on itself. Cinch down on the tie, twist, twist, and then a little half twist. And we're gonna snip these once we get them all on here. To snip, leave a little bit of a tail, not too long. Next, what we're going to want to do is make sure that we connect our push hose to our packer and also verify that there is a retention clip inside of this fitting. If the retention clip's not there, we have the opportunity of actually having this come out. Another thing we want to do is make sure that we tape the fitting. Just to cover that connection reduces the, the likelihood of that coming apart. Again, nice and snug. And then also check our pull rope. Make sure that's not going to move on us. All right, the next thing we're going to want to do is transfer our measurement that we made with our push camera and put it over onto our system. So what we'll do is you'll take your camera head, and again, no matter where the mark is, if it was longer, I would probably need an extra set of hands, but take your camera head, center of your packer, 
And then you want to make sure that you keep the push hose and the camera relatively straight so that when you transfer the measurement, your mark doesn't change on you. And then transfer that mark over. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. You don't want it to move or fall off. And then double check everything. And again, your camera head should be about center on your packer. Now that we have our packer prepared, we're ready to do our dry run. So you'll actually come to your point of access and insert your packer in the pipe. using our push hose. And we are going to push all the way to our measurement that we transferred. So our tape right on our push hose. And we can actually get there, which is what we want to see. Once we've gotten our packer to our spot, we are going to retrieve it. And the way we're going to do that is actually use our pull rope. You're going to be using them together but more of the pressure is gonna be on the rope than on the push hose. Once it comes out of the pipe, we're gonna inspect, make sure there's no gashes or gouges or anything that looks out of the norm on our protective sleeve. Now that we've done our dry run, We'll want to bring it back to the table or wherever you're working at and inspect our plastic. And then once you've done that, you're going to actually strip it and replace it with the other protective sleeve, which we've done already. So this is our new protective sleeve, brand new. No matter what it looks like, we want to replace it. There can be tiny little pinholes and we don't want resin migration to get in between those layers. So once we've done that, we'll actually now do our test and flight. Just grab your packer, insert it in the pipe, grab your regulator assembly, hook it directly to the push hose. And then slowly give air. be anywhere between four and a half and five PSI. And then you're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. Make sure that your air pressure doesn't drop and check that it's fully inflated. Once we waited our five minutes, we're gonna disconnect, bleed this off first. We'll actually disconnect this directly and then we will hook up. Our vacuum generator. And our packer will be nice and flat again. Make sure it's nice and flat before we do anything else. Now that we've tested our equipment, we're gonna lay out all our materials and make sure that everything is ready to go. Put on an extra set of gloves. So now I have two sets of gloves on. Our green ties are ready to go. Wire cutters to cut those spatula to spread our material, packer has a new protective sleeve, resin, and everything's on our work surface. First thing we're gonna do when we do this is mix our resin, just like our normal pipe patch. We'll wet out one side of the material, we'll flip over, we'll wet out the other side, and then we will slide it onto our packer. Once it's on the packer, 
It'll be a green tie in front of the repair, four evenly spaced on the repair, and then one on the tail end. We have all our materials laid out. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna wet out our fiberglass, load it, and put it in the pipe to do our actual install. So, small gap at the bottom. We're actually gonna pull, and that starts the mixing process. We wanna make sure we get all the material out of the corners. Then we'll flip it. Fold the bag in half. And this is the color we're looking for. Butterscotch, creamy peanut butter, whatever you want to call it, that's a good color. Work your material down to one side. I just kind of fold over. Grab scissors or a knife to cut your bag. I'm gonna take about half of this bag. Pour it on this side. Not make a mess. Just kind of fold it over and then just work the material from one side to the other. Don't want to scrape the resin out of the fibers. You just want to move it from one end to the other. And then once that side's done, flip it over. A little different than our normal fiberglass, so depending on the size kit, you actually may not use all the resin. Work it from one end to the other. And you don't want to have any pulling on here. So any of the excess, lightly run the spatula down, get all the excess off. Now we're ready to load. Just gonna fold the plastic up. Get the mess. And then again, center your patch on your packer. Grab your ties. And again, one in the front on the packer itself. And then four evenly spaced on the patch itself. And then one on the tail end of the bladder. Just slide it down just a little more. And again, you just taco in the material, fold it in a half on itself. Twist, twist, a little half twist. One, two, little half. One, two, half. Two, half. Once you have those on, grab your wire cutters, make sure you snip all these, don't want to leave these long, and 
and that's a prepared patch, ready to go in the pipe. Once we get to our point of access, we're gonna insert our patch in the pipe. Once we've done that, we're gonna to wanna to shed our first set of gloves. Just begin to push our repair in place. Just hand over hand. It's one of the benefits to the system is the repair goes down to such a small size that it's relatively easy to push into place. So we're to our predetermined measurement. Take off our gloves. Hook up. Make sure your regulator's all the way open. Hook up our airline. And we're gonna go right to that five PSI that we predetermined earlier today. Now that you've waited your allotted amount of time, it's gonna depend on the kit that you're using. So make sure you check your cure chart. Once you've done that and you've waited the time, pull off your regulator assembly. Hook up the vacuum generator. And then you'll be able to pull it back. And this is how it should look. So that's the reason we taped on the far end and not the other end. It'll actually just invert on itself. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions about Pipe Patch One or any of our other products, reach out to your local sales manager or visit us online.